Yo, what's up guys? This is Andre Kenshin here and today we're gonna be the wait it's over and this is the 2024 NCAA tournament predictions the road to the final four in the national championship here in Arizona as the defending national champion Yukon Huskies ready for the being the title defense as no team have never gotten successful defense since it was the 2006 and 07 for the Gators who still playing by the future NBA player is Joaquin Noah. And it will still remind me in the back to back series last time in never the championship. And last time as well, the defending national championship has made it to the Sweet 16. It was the 2016 Duke and it entered the Sweet 16. And 2017, two upper playing 3 3. Many teams are failed to the first round or the second round they're not able to reach to the sweet 16 here's the list of them they're not reaching the defending national championship reach not able to reach the sweet 16 2017 Villanova Wildcats 2018 North Carolina 2019 Villanova again 2021 Virginia 2022 Baylor and 2023 is Kansas so here's the matchup series and get ready to roll to the final four and this is gonna be a first time and we're going to predict all of them east and south alongside west and midwest so the east region will play in new york west region playing in los angeles south it will play I mean, oops is this not east region it this is not new york east region we're playing boston west region we're playing los angeles Yes, this is Los Angeles. This is like the Southern Lakers region, and then happened there is as the Southern region, and the West is the Lakers region. South is the Dallas Mavericks, and which is the Dallas, and then the Midwest, which is host in the Detroit Pistons. So, the road to the Final Four in Rebray, Arizona, as this also this marks the first time. As the Northern will be no gymnast for the first time since they're leaving the college basketball, which will be replaced by the former CBS. Actually, it's not the former. Here as the NFL CBS crew alongside the NBA A on TNT crew, Ian Eagle, who is a son of the Noah Eagle who voices many chants. As Ian Eagle will be have a uh, Elite Eight, Sweet Sixteen, uh, and the Championship, Final Four, and National Championships. Now we get ready to set the begin. Start things off in the East. We got UConn versus Stetson. This marks the first time Stetson enters the tournament for the first time in the history. Ever they won over. I believe it was our opponent is that. So we're gonna take over inside as the Huskies win over Stetson. Second up, we have Florida Atlantic and Northwestern. I have to go to Northwestern. Will win over Florida Atlantic. San Diego State took down UAB. UAB made this this year tournament win over the actually almost a tempo upset for the Atlantic and then UAB beats tempo. Auburn and Yale. Auburn is the SEC champs. So, and right there as well, the Yale also the Ivy League champs as both teams in the Premier slash currently conference championships. As I'm gonna go, the Auburn Tigers will win. BYU and Duquesne, and this would be our marks for the first time as Andre Kenshin will playing with Duquesne. As we have can see that it's been a while since the old old days in the memory. It's been 47 years look back in the 1976, I think, happening in Duquesne making the tournament, and actually they won. The Atlantic 10 over VCU. So now we're gonna have to go for the Cougars win over Duquesne. And the Moy take on Morehead State. I have to go to Funny and 99 will win. Washington State and Dre has been a while. Washington State making the tournament for the first time since 2008. As they ended inside the right there, the Washington State looking to back in the chance there. They make it to the basketball tournament. And after they lose in the semifinals by the Pac 12. With Colorado. It happened there's the second round. They make it including he make it they make it to the sweet sixteen as the fourth seed. They make it to the sweet sixteen. 
So I'm gonna upset there. I'm gonna love to go. Bulldogs will win over Washington State, and Iowa State will win over South Dakota State. So we're not anywhere to move. And this is gonna go in the West region. We got North Carolina facing the winner of Ohio or Ragnar. I have to go North Carolina win. Mississippi State or Michigan State. Let me see the pay-per-view stats. Mississippi State are 21 and 313. Michigan State is 19 for 14. And having anointable results from Mississippi State happening. They knock off Tennessee. And then they knock off Tennessee again twice. For Michigan State. They're not able to have it, including they knock up Baylor, knock up Illinois. They only have two wins again in the opposite stun. So I have to high up to go Spartans for win past Mississippi State. St. Mary's and Grand Canyon, I have to go St. Mary's. Alabama will win over Charleston. New Mexico is going to upset over Clemson. Baylor will took down Colgate. It's a great easy win. Dayton and Nevada, and I'm going to upset as well as Nevada stuns a Dayton. And finally, Arizona beats Long Beach State. Last year, Arizona lost in its first round. The opponent by the 15th seed is Princeton Tigers. Actually, upset was the close game. So move on in the south region. We got Houston versus Longwood. I have to go Houston for win over Longwood. Nebraska and Texas AM. Nebraska back in the tournament for the first time since 2014. So I'm gonna go the Huskers will win the pass over Texas AM. Wisconsin versus James Madison. And I'm gonna easy here as James Madison will upset over Wisconsin right here. We got Duke and Vermont. I have to go the Blue Devils who win over Vermont. Texas Tech versus NC State, as we know happen after that, after NC State make it to the championship round in five days, they knock off knock up Louisville, knock up Syracuse, and then knock off with the top three seeds, beating Duke, Virginia, and North Carolina, and unfortunately we're not able to pick more packs, as Texas Tech will win over NC State. <coughs> Next up, we got Kentucky versus Oakland. I have to go Kentucky will win. For now, versus the winner of Boise State or Colorado. I have to go the Gators will win. And Marquette will pass over Western Kentucky. Now in the Midwest, we got Purdue facing the winner of who's that? Montana State and Grambling State. I think I have to go Boilermakers will win. Last year, Purdue losing in the first round by number one seed to take on. I believe it was the 16th seed for like Dickinson. I was the second. It was the second time Dickinson for like Dickinson upsets the number one Purdue in just the second time ever. Is that Andrew Cotton and yelling the CBS crew? Utah State will win as pass over TCU. Gonzaga will win over Mackney State. Kansas survives over Sanford. South Carolina take on Oregon and see because so. The Oregon Ducks, they won the Pac-12 tournament and they make it to the tournament as well. So the South Carolina, we're back in the tournament for the first time since 2017. Let me see the stats for the pay-per-view. We can see the notable results. So they have upsets over Kentucky, Tennessee, and then right there they won it. So then, and then for Oregon Ducks... They're not able to reach it, and including the upsets there, Arizona and Colorado. So I have to go Ducks will upset over South Carolina. Creighton and Akron. I have to go Blue Jays will win as the favorite team to see. Let's see what happened there. As you can see, they have on February 21 and March 3. They ended the two upsets there. They beat UConn and Marquette. It could be last year, Blue Jays make it to the Elite 8 run. And then before fell short to San Diego State. Texas will win pass over the winner of Virginia or Colorado State. And Tennessee wins over St. Peter's. Actually, two years ago, St. Peter's make it to the Elite 8 run in the 15th seed. He did knock up the 2 seed Kentucky, 7 seed Murray State, and 3 seed Purdue before a uh, fell short with North Carolina. Move on to the second round. We got Yukon versus Northwestern. I have to go to Huskies will win. San Diego State. We'll knock off Auburn, Auburn Tigers. 
this great great game here BYU in the NOI I have to go let's go off it again it's gonna go BYU will win over Illinois Drake versus Iowa State I have to go to Cyclones will win move on in the West North Carolina over Michigan State I have to go to Tar Heels will win Alabama versus St. Mary's I have to go Alabama will win New Mexico versus Baylor I have to go the Bears will pass over Lobos and Arizona will win over Nevada move on in the south Houston and Nebraska is gonna be a close game I have to go I have to go Cougars will win pass over Nebraska James Madison versus Duke I have to go Blue Devils will win over James Madison Kentucky will hang on will win over Texas Tech in a close game and then finally Florida and Marquette I have to go the Golden Eagles will win Move on in the Midwest, we got Purdue versus Utah State. I have to go Boilermakers will win. Gonzaga versus Kansas. Let's go the Jayhawks will win over the Bulldogs. Oregon versus Creighton. And let's go my favorite team because I have my favorite team. Blue Jays win over Oregon. I hope Blue Jays win. don't take upset again. If we get back in the Elite 8 round, or you get a chance to get a first ever taste for the Final Four in National Championship. Texas and Tennessee. I'm gonna upset there as Texas beats Tennessee in the second round seed as the Texas move on over Tennessee. We move on. Next up in the Sweet 16, we got the rematch of the national championship. That's last year, UConn beat San Diego State was talking place in Houston. And I have to go to Huskies for win over San Diego State. And BYU Iowa State, I have to go. The Cyclones will win. Move on in the West. North Carolina versus Alabama. Let's go. Tor Heels will win over the Clemson Tide. And Arizona will win survive over Baylor. Move on in the South. Houston and Duke. And I'm gonna upset there as Blue Devils took down. The Cougars will win this game and move on the Elite A will face against Let's go with Market will win over the Kentucky and move on. Then move on here. We got Purdue and Kansas in the West. Midwest. I have to go to Border Makers will win over Kansas and Creighton will win over Texas. Now it's time for the Elite A for the last spot of the Final Four. Yukon versus Iowa State. Let's go. The Huskies will win over Iowa State. And then they will face with North Carolina and Arizona. And let's go. When the Tar Heels will move on over Arizona. So we got two number one seeds in this tournament. We got Duke versus Marquette. And I'm going to take. Get yeah, more Golden Eagles will move on from Mansis to the championship over Duke alongside Purdue and Creighton. And I'm gonna favorite team there as Creighton will move on to the to the final four. So we got a final four matchups. We got Yukon versus North Carolina, and then Market versus Creighton. And we got three of Big East teams. Incredible. First one here in the last spot, we got North Carolina versus UConn. Let's see the pay-per-view was going on there. They went in and right North Carolina and UConn in the great series. And they even met first meet on December 6th. And they made 87 76 and right there. So I don't have to go to Tar Heels. We'll move on to beat New UConn to end in the national championship. Marquette versus Creighton. And I'm gonna give Marquette will win and we're going to the final f to the national championship. So we got North Carolina versus Marquette for the national championship. And let's go to give Tor Heels win over Marquette. And how many tall points will be scored in the championship game? I believe we're going to take 12 points. And boom! There we go, guys. The North Carolina Tor Heels won the NCAA national championship in 2024. And that's it for now. Thank you for subscribe, guys, and I'll see you later today.
Later, we are going to have a coin flip challenge in 2024 edition. Goodbye, everyone.